winners finals Advandu 477 we have the actress again music recently patched in fan favorite and Gumi is starting off pretty well some classic mash big button cross ups loses the corner for the latest attempt but pretty good defense so far it's fatal. Good job poking in the air. Not sure how on purpose that side switch was. Gonna start hooking in the middle of the screen. Doesn't matter. And that's like one of the harder things to deal with with Mash. Is she, uh... <laughs> very... They, they seem like simple cross-ups, but they're very threatening. Just massive buttons. Very meaty. Oh, okay. Tried to run past Dior. Como was very keen to it. Jake's mode. Didn't get a full conversion off, but is going to earn the corner with the block string. Spanked some meter to keep Gumi there. IAD doesn't connect. Oh, Gumi mashes out. Both players have a lot of meter. How much is Gumi going to spend? Clean 4.1. Gumi takes it back. Here comes the orb. It's a little too far for Oki, but doesn't matter. Sets the Mara 1. Good shield. Takes corner back. And Gumi doing a great job taking back the corner here. Gumi trying to fight out. Does so successfully. Going to land on orb. Extending the combo. Again, maybe not the most damaging combos compared to other Alco players, but Koma is content to chip you away over the course of a set. Plenty of meter to keep this block string going. Gumi, once again, just mashes 2B to get out of the corner. A lot of meter still in anyone's game. Good grab. One more combo should do it for Gumi. Got some meter. Keep the block string up. Run up grab. Gumi takes game one. Winner's finals. It is first to three. Best of five. Gumi. Stone cold. As he takes game one. Koma is probably our player with the most wins at our weekly and monthly tournament. But everyone has been working very diligently to catch up. We have plenty of Melty Blood regulars here at Xanadu Games at Loyal Park. It's grinding this game week by week. You are in the DMV area, DC, Maryland, Virginia. Stop on by. Gumi fights out of the corner. Pretty damaging combo, too, for matching out. Ooh, so Lane's shield vanishes. Koma, it's really hard to kind of tell exactly what the option is going to be from a J shield. Both players doing some, or er, rather, Koma doing some pretty good defense. Holding out and taking the round. Ooh, good landing mash on Gumi by Koma. Ooh! Charge back shield. I think it's 5C, right? Oh, so overhead with the barb on top of you, so terrifying. Good jump back, so Gumi holds shield. And great launcher by Koma to seal the round. Tied it up 1 1. Koma has been uh, very, very good at his anti air recently. Like, uncharacteristically watching very carefully for chances to pick a out of the air. Long time anime player. I've known him from the uni days, but of course he's been around much, much longer than that in the fight game community. Again, 3C launcher. Can't really connect with it. Fishing for a fatal there. Ooh, so uh, the jump kind of low profiles on that deck. Can we mix most of it? Between 3.9. Empty jump of the grab. Como connects it. But once again, cross ups from Gumi. It's one of Mash's big strengths. Just very large, meaty buttons when she crosses you up. Big back hitboxes. Ooh, okay, so landed empty. The safe jump. And Gumi kind of winning the match war in the uh, course of this set. Seems to be better at kind of pressing the buttons on Koma's Oki. I would argue that Koma probably has a little bit better neutral, but not going so well for Koma this set. 
This aggression working very well for Gumi. Pulling the corner, spacing perfectly, staggering perfectly. Getting some chip ins, not converting any of them. Koma's finally out. Koma has four bars. Yep, so double orb cross up. Now we're gonna go to the corner, spend some meter. Very resourceful win if Koma does indeed take the round. Oh, drops the combo. Gumi gets the counter. It's not gonna be enough to kill. But, okay, so he's going to cash out one level. It wouldn't have killed level three. Next touch will win. Both players have plenty of resources. Is Gumi going to play it safe? Slowly chipping away. You cannot kill with chip and melty blood. Orbs, not so useful against... Uh, against Koma, against Alko. Great blocking by Gumi. He holds it. Oh, it was only a matter of time. Once the block string started, the power granted to you by Alko's orbs. Koma fishing for Fatals in the air. Finally lands one, does convert it fully. get clear 4.1. Ooh, Yumi blocks the overhead this time. Hold his block wall. Oh! He dropped shield too early, and Moon Skill broke the orb, but they traded the hit. Six PC, so strong for MASH. And again, MASH does have uh, one advantage in this matchup, is just being able to kind of just attack Charging Star through orbs just like that. Koma is a very patient player, does like hiding behind them. Doesn't, not, not, not a crutch for the player for sure, but one game plan that Yumi has kind of, uh, or Koma has kind of shut down. Up, oh, what has happened? That's not good, what's happened? Both players, by the way, on fight sticks that I was not, we are pressing some, oh no. What happened? This is not a good time for this to happen during a set either. Oh no. What happened? Dual Shock 4. No. So let's see what the players do. It's neither of their fault, so they should probably just do a countdown into the match. Let's make sure. What board state do we have here? Okay, so it is Oki. So Mash is on the ground. Gumi's on the ground. So I think Boom is going to do a, maybe a countdown? Three, two, one. Let's start up. It's probably going to be an orb on wake up. Oh, okay. Let, let's learn how to count, everybody. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. So orbs are already in the air. Okay, both players. Well, Gumi recovering well from the from that mistake, and he makes it in. Okay, so all is well. Gumi, who was on the ground, takes the first exchange after the uh, PS4 error. Level three, next touch is going to likely win. There's still one bar for Gumi. Okay, going to spend it in heat. So if Gumi lets heat run out, he does not have the meter to necessarily close out the round anymore. But it did afford him the ability to survive that beam. Oh, so dangerous to approach in the air. Gumi's playing so well, what's gonna happen next? Oh, Gumi gets in, shield, 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 vanish. Oh, and Gumi takes it 2-1. Amazing resolve by Gumi. Surviving not only Koma's incredible block strings, Alko jail with the orbs, but also a PS4 pad uh, mishap. <laughs> that is uncharacteristic resilience from uh, any player. <laughs> wow, that was... Uh... Shoutouts to Gumi. He's one in my heart. And he did win the set, so he's one away from Grand Finals. Man, that is a tilting experience, especially if you're in coma shoes, you almost had the round. Someone across the venue hits the PS button, puts you in the menu, while you have orbs on top of your opponent, who's one combo away from dying, and suddenly you lose the round, and your opponent is on winner's finals point. That is not a good combination of things to happen to you in 30 seconds. Still, that said, Gumi absolutely earned it, having been on the ground in that situation as we go into game four here. Okay, yeah, Koma playing a very strong grounded game at the moment. Should finish with combo. Eric 2, 3, 6, C. Okay. Koma locking it down, kind of starting to learn the matchup a little bit more. Ooh, a little bit of a weird cross up situation. But characters, Koma matches out. Full combo center. Gotta spend some meter here to keep Oki more than likely. Orb down. What's the mix up? Cross up, cross up. Shield with 
Moon Drive, Kimmy makes it out, vanishes, no combo confirm, of course. Good BC Pulse, good way to just kind of throw it out there, see what happens. Oh, it's always scary to land on the ground after a block string. Bottom meter from Zumi, but no moon meter, importantly. Smash really likes her moon skills. So Gumi doesn't have any non-meter tools to easily get. Oh, what a good air delay on the special dive kick there. Just a little kick flip with the shield. That's going to convert to a lot of damage. Easy, four, almost 4.1. And takes back the corner. Pulse is pretty plus. Good spacing, fishes for fatal, doesn't convert. What's Koma doing to do to get out? Koma's probably going to it. Oh, went for grab. Not fully punished there. Besides the shield. And lands the fatal. Koma does not have enough mirror to close it out, but will drop Gumi low enough to be killed in one combo. Oh, great heat. Oh, but doesn't space correctly. He's going to get punished, and that's going to be game two for Koma. We have a final game situation here in Winner's Finals at Xandu. FGC at Xandu 477. We're bringing you some awesome Winner's Finals action. Koma, Gumi, 2-2. Two, two. And Gumi starting the final game off strong. Gumi has improved vastly with this character in a very short amount of time. Very exciting to watch. Oh, good patience from Koma. Even misses the shield, but does hold the guard. He is able to kind of fight out. A little bit of air movement. Koma takes the corner. Spends a meter to keep it. What's he going to end the combo with? Ooh! Char <laughs> charge 236. Or rather, 214, I believe. No, but I'm wrong. 623. Anyways, Gumi's gonna take the round while I ponder exactly what input Alco's record is in my head. Yeah. Proper way to handle an orb is to usually just uh, shield bash through it. Gumi does not have to think much, especially if Koma's in the air. Also, good patience there, just 5 8 fade. Oh, it doesn't follow the combo up. Koma's gonna take advantage. Both players have a lot of resources. Koma is on Moon Drive right now. If I were Gumi, if I can win the next trade, I might spend some resources, but if he gets opened up again, which he does not. And shields out. Okay, no buttons on Ash from Gumi. Good job. Both shield drops. Tech to throw, but Gumi does end up taking the exchange. That mash double ground pound combo is so cool. I just love that move. It's so cool. 2-2. Two 2-2 -two. Two -two from mash. Okay, I went for super jump, poking light. I for the grab. At this point, if I'm Gumi, I'm like, maybe I can close it here if I can open them up once. Oh. Oh, drop shield is the worst time. Koma normally doesn't just sit on the ground and beam you, which is what makes it so effective in rounds like this where you don't expect it. Drop shield a little bit early, and then you suddenly are eating 236B, uh, 236 c Last game, last hit situation. Bang, bang, bang. Double orb, what's the mix up? It's grab. Orb extending the combo. Koma has a lot of moon to work with here. So a lot of tools to keep Gumi in the corner. Oh, Gumi does a run under. Has a lot of meter, four bars of meter from Gumi. So has all the tools he needs to close this out and should close it out as soon as he can before Koma gets too much meter, or gets a great shield like that. This is not going to carry all the way across the map. Great blood heat from Gumi. So he's going to get all of his health back, but Koma's content to run away. You got all your health back, I don't want you to hit me. Even game, but I have Moon, says Koma, and he's going to use it well here. So we're going to have an orb, and we're going to have a huge mix. Oh, actually, okay, it's getting close to killing. A lot of tools for coming to take this. Text the grab. Yumi's got blocks. Oh, tried to mash 2A. 
loses to IAD. Koma takes it in game five. Amazing effort from both players. And there you have it. Koma makes it to grand finals. You can see them chatting on the screen there. Very close knit crew of multi blood players here at Zandu Games at Laurel Park. Pretty close community in general, I would say. A lot of multi blood, a lot of French bred players. Uh, Koma is one of the best of our group. All right, so next up we have ZT, Quincy Tatari. Uh, ZT, active in the scene, doesn't come to as many weeklies. I have a habit of not going to the weekly he's at for some reason. We played each other today off stream. Uh, for whatever reason, we just never run into each other uh, too, too often. Uh, very strong player. Plays Roa, played Shiki.